now right now as I record it is currently Thanksgiving Day but I did kind of want to tell you all a little bit of update about the raccoons I finally got them sewed up and turned out and there's a little thing I'm gonna do right now where before we do much and I know that I told you all that I would not be back on till it was time to demonstrate how we paint the tail, but it just so happened that even painting the eyes for this is a little bit different than what you've probably seen in other videos I've done of how I do it on some other stuffed animals and painting in the facial details and all, so... It comes a moment when I decide I'm going to stuff up the head and kind of, first of all, it's for this little clip, demonstrate how I paint on the little eyes for the raccoon. Maybe even I'd say the nose and the mouth and the whiskers might come along sometime later, but this is probably about what I'm going to do for right now. We're going to have to let the eyes dry out before we do anything else. So right now, I am stuffing the head, getting it ready for the little painting of the eyes and the face. So we've kind of got a little more kind of stuff in here. And I decided even for this time, I'd do probably some little exceptions out of all the little different paints I have and I will tell you that you'll notice something interesting about the paint that I picked out out of all the ones I had a little squeeze bottle of fabric paint out of all the ones I have and it is actually a yellow glow paint I'm not sure that these eyes are going to glow Usually these colored glow paints do not pick up as much light or absorb as much as the plain transparent glow paint does. So we're just going to give this a try, see how this does. But usually I use yellow to make the eyes of any raccoon. So that's what I'm doing here. Of course, we know that in real life, raccoons don't have yellow eyes, but that's kind of something that I do from an artistic standpoint, just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more from the rest of the fabric. That's what we're doing here, just put in little dabs of little light paint, just to kind of make the eyes come out a bit, and see how this is just going to make it be I say I say that um we've kind of got the little eyes done in like that and I say that there's going to be this little thing we're going to do the same on this other one too kind of put in the eyes out to the sides, out around the little area where the nose and the crown are, and the forehead, just to kind of make it so it's going to be a little brighter in ways, make it like this, and I will say that it was kind of interesting just getting on here on Thanksgiving Day just to show a little of what I do. Don't know exactly when the time is going to come that I'm going to record the next part, but this is going to be divided into different parts and just be something where... For as little time as each step takes, we're going to let the steps dry between and probably keep coming back on and recording more and compile them together into one video to upload and share. So that is what I wanted to say for today, and I'll be back on later.
well, by now I come on to say that the eyes have had plenty of time to dry up. One of the next steps we take is painting on a little nose. You see that with the color here, it's like, you know, that the pattern kind of makes out the shape of the nose. But since the fabric is black and since a raccoon's nose is usually as black as, let's say, the front of its face, I mean, usually the mask of its face does not go down as far as its nose, but we only do it in this pattern just to make it a little easier to sew. But the, but since it's already black at the end, that's why there's a couple of different colors I would use to make the nose. I, I sometimes use brown and I sometimes use gold. This time around, we're just going to use the brown to make the little nose part and it's just kind of where I'd say that this little thing of paint, apparently it is so old and it's never been used that we might even have to put a little piercing in the top to get any paint to come out of it. Probably had this little bottle of paint maybe ever since. 2020, I guess, year when COVID first struck, that was the year when I was out shopping everything out of Walmart because we were on lockdown and there was hardly any other place to go to buy anything, so I say at this point now, we kind of got the little brown in here and we make the nose just like this and just here I'm about to show you all a little way it turns out just like that and there have been times when I've used white felt to kind of make this part of the face but just to make it all part of one body I just use the light blue to make it so that the bottom of the face is kind of attached to the underside of the body and we can either use black puffy paint or black slick paint to make this next part we work on. And right now, since that happens to be what is open, we will use the black slick paint. I'm going to test it on this piece of fabric to make sure I'm really going to get it to come out and kind of put it where we have this little expression right here and I've also learned that even with animals even though they might not smile in real life and even though I'm not a smiling person myself I'd say that you probably want the animals to look a little more cheerful so they'd be more likely to sell and that's how I made out the face on this raccoon and for another thing, you can also put in little dots on the face to make the whiskers like this. That's kind of what I'm doing here. And I'd say while we'd be at it, we could kind of take this other little raccoon and kind of add the same little effects. This is how I got out the face on this one. And then there's just little other types of steps we have to take just to <coughs> make things like they're really going to be and supposed to be. And so we kind of make another little nose on this raccoon just to kind of make it so it's going to have a little brown in it to kind of make it where it's going to show a little work and then kind of make it out so it looks just like this and take a little bit of black slick paint and kind of make out the little mouth on this one as well and kind of show how we do the whiskers here on it too 
on this one you'd probably say the mouth kind of came out a little bit more skinny than it did on the other one but this is how <coughs> we got it here and then there's kind of little things we'll kind of make to do for oh this little raccoon pet I uh, say this is just one of those types of works that has its little ways of coming to us and I've demonstrated that much so far I'd probably say here that as far as the face is concerned it kind of makes it a short video and it's going to be a while before we can really get around to stuffing the whole thing and start painting the tail so I think I'm going to end the video right here and say that this is the one we'll have for the painting of the face and do a little series on the tail sometime a little later. Thank you again for watching. Take care and have a happy Thanksgiving.